Hello everyone, welcome to Jira training. In this tutorial, we will learn how to clone test cases in Jira. In previous tutorial, we have learned how you can add new test cases in Jira. So let's get started and see how you can clone the test cases. So to clone the test cases, go to the header at the top and click on the tests tab and search for the tests. So first thing you have to do is you have to first find the test case that you want to clone. So you can do it from here by using search tests or you can directly start typing the issue key. So for example, I want to update issue 24, MOP 24, and I can start typing that in the search box here and to list that test case. All right. So you can select the test case from here or you can select the test case from the overall search results all right so now on this test case page you'll see the option to clone now clone why is clone feature important so in testing world most of the time you will see that there is the the test steps or you know like the test steps for the test cases might be similar for some set of test cases so for example admin user login okay there could be member user login as well right there, there there could be login based on different roles for a particular portal okay so login feature for different roles you most of the steps and the description will be similar apart from the test da test data that you are providing right so for example the, the current test case that you see verify admin user can log into Mumba web portal the another test case for login could be verify member user can log into Mumba web portal okay so instead of writing everything from scratch there is a clone feature so it will clone all the details that you have in the current test case and you can update the relevant information that is required or that is relevant for the member login okay so that's the key concept behind the clone feature provided by zephyr so in order to clone just click on the clone button here and it will open the clone pop-up window and there are two options clone links and clone sprint value okay so if you select clone links then all the issues or all the links that are present in this particular current test case will be cloned in the new test case as well okay if you clone the sprint value then the sprint value so for example the current sprint set for the admin um, test case will also be cloned in the new test case if you deselect these then these values won't be Clone. So I'll select both and then click create. All right. So to change it to member test case, I'll just remove that clone thing and I'll change verify member user can log into Mumba portal. Save it. And in the steps, you just need to change the step two and provide member. And similarly here. Just make sure member user should be able to log in successfully and provide the member username and password in the test data. Okay, so I'll change it to member username. All right, just update. So that is that's all you needed to change or to write new test case for the member user login. So you have saved a lot of time by cloning the the test case. From the admin test case and changing it to the member user login test case right so as you can see we have selected the links checkbox so you can see the issue links from the previous um, test case are already available in the new test case as well and also the sprint value okay if you select if you try to clone without the links and clone sprint value and create a new issue so you'll see a new issue got created but you don't see any sprint value here and there are no issue link the story link that was previously present in the previous test case you can't see that the only link that's available is the link for the test case 
from which we clone this particular uh, test case. All right. So that is all about the cloning feature in Jira. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to search test cases and do the bulk changes to the test cases. Thank you.